So this is our next example of how to make a polyester. We're going to start with polylactic acid. In a different, it's different to the other one we've just done, because I've got an alcohol group here and a carboxylic acid group here. Always just draw them side by side. They ask you to draw one of these, just draw two. So that's number one. I'm going to draw another one next to it, <coughs> like so. But obviously there'd be thousands of these all joining together. So it's that guy plus that guy. How is it going to join up together? The OH yep. there and the H on the second one. Yeah, so that OH and that H are going to go off to make water. And that OH and that H are going to go off to make water as well. So to draw the polymer, line O, and then I'll draw my red one there. Plus H2O, plus H2O for each ester bond. So I've got my bonds being extended like so. The key thing is now, if you look at a repeat unit, the repeat unit is actually quite small. That there is one repeat unit because I'm using just one monomer. I've only got one monomer type, and they're all joining up. So that there is one with that unit. Right, so here's an example for you to go. Um, somebody get me some paper. So, butane. I'd like you to draw the polymer that you make from... Can we do nylon? No, because that's a polyamide, we're going to do that next time. So we need to draw another one next to it and then make it into a poly. Oh, well, that's one. That's my diacid. And I'd like you to join it up with this. You can just do it with one colour. Can I borrow some paper? Like so. Give it a go. I need more than one. Can you draw? You can just draw one with you. Do you know which OH and H goes? It doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter which so just like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, so you've got C double bond O, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, o CH2 going on there, and then it ends with an O there, which means it goes there, like so. And if this was the case, it would actually be two H2O that are actually in the for this one. 